Hey, what's up? It's your boy JQ. Just got a package from Tar Heel Ants. Um, I'm packed the box for you guys. And um, got my bag right there to be, to be ready because you're going to have a lot, a lot of foams. So, when you tell your order for them, be prepared for that. <laughs> This is what you're gonna get, what you expect when you get your package. But your foam, so always have a bag in hand to take all the foam out and put it inside. So this is the, this is how, this is how you're gonna get your package after you you um go inside the the box with cotton material. It's gonna be like this. You know, you're gonna have a couple of things. I bought some foam. I mean, I foam. I bought um some um free iron and um. I got some shields and I got some black stoppers, closers. Um, this you gotta ask extra in the comments, just put down below that you need some closers because you got a small species you plan to put inside. So leave a comment in the bottom of your order after you finish, you know, purchasing it. Check out the new nest that just came out. Um, this is pretty cool. I forgot the name of it. I guess it's like the Inception. But it's none of the nests that he, I saw he had a similar that was bigger. This is nice. I like this a lot. This is cool. Might put a Connie in here maybe soon. I just wanted to mention one thing. I know there was something I said on an old video about him making mistakes and not giving me um some products that he didn't ship by mistake. And um we talked and um he we got in contact and we fixed all that and um and um pretty much like you know people make mistakes, no big deal. Didn't make that way more that video it seemed like I was trying to you know cut ass on him, you know. But not for nothing, yo. Um, he look definitely. I got one thing I gotta say. Like, if anything, you have any issues, you know, any of your orders, just um, let him know, and um, he'll definitely look out for you, and um, he'll make sure he'll make sure you're good, and um, he'll definitely look out for you. So, so um, yeah, that's one. I just want to say that. Any questions you have, have just hit him up on Facebook or. Hit him up in Tar Hill email. I, I wish I forgot the email exactly, but um, yeah, man, I, I really didn't mean to make it seem like I was cutting ass on him, but um, I was actually just talking about the nest. Actually, <laughs> it just some comments, some people said certain things and, and took it the wrong way, but um, other than that, you know, things happen. And, um, people make mistakes. You know, me, me and um, Mark. When Tar Hill, um, we talked talked it out, and um, 
he um definitely look out for me, definitely um made sure I was good after, you know, the mistakes, you know. It was an accident. But um he definitely looked out for me and um made things right, you know. So I definitely appreciate that. So, you know, if anything happens in your order or something happens, you miss something, just let him know. He'll definitely make it right. You know, he's a um a good businessman and he you know, he does his does his thing over there in Tar Heel. And um I really do like his products. I feel like he has one of the best, you know, nesses out there. Like just just going by um how compact his nesses are. They're not so jamungus like Oz Ends or well it's um Utah and not Utah Ends, um I don't know. Those those Australia nesses that's out there in Australia. They're so they're nice, but they're so big, they take up so much space. And one thing I do like, they compact and there's this little small nest, but it just adds up to be a lot in one. So that's why that's that's why I like Toyo so much because I like I don't have the room to like have a jumongous nests. So this works out for me. I can have a bunch of colonies and um have them living in here. So that's why I can say like I think Toyo is the best. I one of the best if I could say. I think the best matter of fact, but some people might think not. But their product is pretty well, well, their product is um well made, high quality, nothing cheap. I never had any escapes, escapees. You know, only time I have escapees was because when I had Fidolis and one of my colonies, um, I had to or I had to tell him I need these stoppers. I I, I use um this, this one, and they escape from the side. But I didn't know. But I didn't know you had to um put a comment below saying that. Or send me some rubber stoppers. That's what it's called. So, so yeah, maybe he should, he should put like a description in the bottom if you need rubber stoppers. Put it below the description after before you order. I don't know, but as long as only time I had escapees. But it, after after I fixed that issue, I never had any escapees. Or I use um some of this. Use some of this stuff for a temporary. Well, a, lot of, a lot of my nuts works out pretty well. But you, you're not going to need this once you get the rubber stoppers. This is just something I had and with a quick fix. But the rubber stoppers are the best. It's the way to go. But you're, if you're gonna, I know a lot of people that they want to buy by like, they want like, farms and um, they most, they most, um, the most thing they worry about is ants escaping. And you see all these, you see all these ants, ants farm. And there's so many on, on the website, and you really don't know which one to buy. You're really confused. You see all these Chinese bills. Just by looking at it, it looks great. It's big, and like as a newbie, you kind of think like, oh, I need the big stuff. I need the big farm, and really, you don't really need a big farm. You actually need a small farm, and you know which that colony grows. You want to know? I didn't know. I did the same thing. But um, yeah, so you see, there's all these nests out there. And you wanna know what's to get, what's good, what's not, and um I can say his, his product is, is, is high end. It's high end because from compact, from having a big colony and a little small nest and, and ants don't need a lot of space. They it is need they like to be they like to be squished and tight. So but anyway, they got they got good stuff. I like one of my favorites. I like um that's the guy's name, um I like high tech ants um nests also, but that's a big nest itself. You know, that's pretty big. It takes up space. You need outworld, then you gotta put the the four way four way connector, and then you gotta have the nest. And it's nice, but it takes up a lot of space. And same thing with Oz ants nest farm. They take up a lot of space. And all these Australia nests, they're not cool, but they they just take up too much space, and not everybody has the space for that. So, ain't no Chinese bills. The Chinese bills, Chinese bill nests, they're good too. But with those, you got to get some acrylic glue and glue the whole nest. Because if not, the rubber is going to end up getting broken eventually over time. And you're going to have escapees coming out of nowhere. You're going to wonder why you got escapees. So, you got to glue the whole nest. And sometimes when you glue it, you still get escapees. But, hey... This is why I say, if you want, I think if you if you really want to get a nest, that's like, especially you a newbie, I think Tar Heel has 
what you're looking for for small colonies and and then and then once your colony gets bigger you could purchase one of his on um, bigger con bigger bigger nests that he has which i have uh, i have um I don't, I don't have that many big nests of his because that's now i don't really need it but mm. i have that I got, which I forgot the name of it. It's like a red triangle nest. And um it's pretty big. But the one I really want to get in the future, I would love to get a nuclear nest and that Jamungus one he has. I don't know the name of it, but but the nuclear one is something I definitely want to get one day. But hey, one day that happen. As of right now, there's this you know. Anyway, back to back to the video. This one is to bring that up about you know about the issue and um you know I appreciate um Mark for for hooking me up and you know, sending me this and um getting this to me and um this wasn't on free. I paid for everything just to let you know. But the fact that he got contacted me and showed me some respect and we talked it out, that's something I definitely appreciate. You know. And um yeah. All right, so I wanted to show you guys these nests I got, and um, I got this one which I like a lot. This is um, kind of like an inception nest that he has, but it's in like in a glass setup. And it's, it's another nest he has. I, I don't I forget the name of it, but um, it's pretty nice. I like this style. Pretty cool, and um, this is the first look of it. And to compare the size from, you know, regular Tar Heel, you know, Ness Mini Harf, you know, so it's a little bit bigger outworld, you know. It's nice, it's what it is. So, yeah, I got this. I bought one of these, these was on sale, just one of those on Nesses that. He had for sale, and it was the price was so good you couldn't pass it. And it caught my attention. And these two nests were custom made. This is um pretty much like um some people say oh you know why you don't put your why you don't put ants inside once you're your colonies and um I do that sometimes here and there but there's some people out there that just want to look at the nest and you know see how it, see how it looks in person or see how it looks in video because I know Tario uh, he has a picture of it and um and a lot of times pictures don't do justice so hey you know just come on my page you can check it out how it looks get an idea. Get the size of the idea of it, you know. And um all this nest is a high quality, like I say, you're not gonna get any escapees and like I said, you know, and um if you like, you know, if you always um ask for a rubber stopper in the bottom it says comment before you before you press pressures and pay. So once so he'll know to send send them in. But um yeah. And um these are rare acrylic glasses. Um I know some people I know from um, Australia they were saying um they didn't come with one. These don't that you that these don't come with rare red Craig nests, red red Craig um glasses. I mean, so they actually do. If you go to if you go to Tar Heel Fit website and you go to accessories, then scroll down, you're gonna see this. And you're gonna have two sizes. You're gonna have this size, and you have you're gonna have the medium size for the bigger size nest. You have two sizes. Um, I have this nest I have. I have for a while. I haven't used it yet, but just to give you an idea, this is the two sizes. And um, when you go down to accessories and scroll down, you could choose to buy the small size or you could go get the the large size. Which that's the difference in size. If if um you want to know, if you don't, you can't tell. So there you go. That's the difference in size. But, yeah. Just do I say, say that because some people don't know how to do it or how to get confused. And, um, hopefully one day he'll just put it 
on the description when you're about to pay to get the guys. I think that'd be easier for people. But, um, yeah. Just scroll down. You'll find this. It's very easy to find. So, these are my subs. Um, I like, I like, I really like this idea. I love these, um, these two, these two, um, story, um, tunnels. They're the way to go. Especially if you have, like, um, you got, you got small ants, a small colony. This is the way it go. This one's pretty good, too, because there's, like, no chance of escaping. No escape, because... But they're not going to escape no matter what. But this is the setup. You know, right there, you fill up with water. And, um, you always... And, um, inside, you fill up with water. And you're going to see a line of water come up, raise, rise up. So what you want to do, you want to fill it ninety percent or eight or seventy five percent. So when you when you see a line getting too high, like once you see a line get about, all right. So once once you fill the water, once once it gets right here, like right here, like right there, the line the one line where it gets right there, just stop. Like right there is perfect. Don't go higher than that. Don't. Don't go to the top. You could, but be careful. But right, right there is perfect. Right there. So just so you know, and it'll last you. That will last you. Uh, what about um about two two months? I think three months. Honestly, but this is the museum glass. You know. It's a museum glass, you can't really tell. So that's how good that museum glass is. Definitely something you should definitely get. I believe for the price that the price that it it costs extra to get the museum glass, the five bucks, why not? Like just get it. <laughs> like why cheap out and not get it? Like it's five bucks. So is that's the way it go. And um Yeah. And um I believe I showed you this too already. This is a nice one too. This is the this is the the next size up. That's inside. This will be the same technique. You're gonna fill it up, you know, like right there, that line right there, and that will be over right there. It'll be good and fill it up. Same technique, you know. Yeah. So I just wanted to show you show you guys this video and um. Oh yeah, I got I got some um. These two liquid fears actually work really well. So how you how you the way you fill this up, you're gonna open this. So the way you fill this up, you open this and you put your finger. Put your finger like that. And then you fill it up with your syringe, or water, or whatever you want to put inside. And then when you stand and then close it, you know, close it. And then you can move your finger. And, and the water will, water will stay inside. So that's how you do it. So make sure you put your finger on, then close it, and then you're fine. Don't put your finger in and let it go. Then close it and it's going to leak out. But if you just put your finger down like that and then close it, it won't leak out. And you'll put it inside. This is a great addition to your, to your answer drink out. I got I got fear and put some food or protein or whatever you want to put inside. And, um, yeah. This is what I got. I like this Freon. This Freon's really good. Definitely, definitely check it out. I like this Freon because with this Freon, you can put it in a glass and you won't see any any smirks on it. And it seems to work with all ants. Like all ants I got. So I got two of these pliers. And um I have this. I gotta figure out how to make this. I really do. Well, I I probably have I probably don't know how to do it. I just gotta use my brain one day and just actually just do it. But once I do that, I'll make another video on how to do that. Because I wanna find out how to do it myself. But it should be easy. I just really haven't tried, to be honest with you. But, um, hey guys, and ladies, um, like the video, you know, please subscribe. Like, comment, subscribe, and, um, say whatever you wanna say. Please keep it positive. And, um, you know, sometimes you gotta forgive people in life, man. Like, life's too short to be holding grudges on people. And, um, 
putting people down and, you know, everybody out there trying to make him be happy. Because like I always say to my friends, man, like, you know, only thing you got in this life is smiles and cries. You know, no one's going to take that away from you. All right? So that day, stay positive. Stay happy, everybody. Enjoy your summer. And, um, hey, like, subscribe.